Right now to the latest from Surfside, where the search and rescue operation resumed last night. And sadly, more victims have been recovered from the rubble, including the daughter of a city of Miami firefighter. For all of us here and across the world, we know that this entire process is as if it were our own children, our own parents, our own sisters and brothers and grandparents. That's how it is every day here. And these are the faces of just some of the victims whose identities have been confirmed from family members. Magali Elena Delgado was the last person to be identified. And sadly, the death toll has now risen to 22. It is day nine of the search and rescue mission, but as Hurricane Elsa is threatening to stall operations, Local News' Alex Finney kicks off our live team coverage. Alex. And Louie and Nicole, I do want to let you and our viewers know that that press conference is still underway. The headline in all of that, 22 people now dead, two more bodies are recovered at this hour. Search and rescue still out here. They are still working that rubble to try to find any survivors. But you just mentioned it there. We are now preparing for Elsa to head our way. So now the big question is, how is this storm going to affect those efforts going forward? There was and still is concern about the integrity of the standing portion of Champlain Tower South, which is why the rescue efforts were temporarily stopped. But crews are now back to work, working in three of the nine grids. More heavy machinery seen coming in on Friday. All of this comes as South Florida braces for Hurricane Elsa. Just how will this affect efforts in Surfside? We'll have to see if the direction of the storm and how close it gets and then we'll have to make the necessary precautions and modifications to our plan. Every victim we remove, it, it's difficult. And last night was even more, you know, when we're removing a fellow firefighter's daughter. Just an unimaginable loss here as rescue crews work feverishly to find anyone trapped under the rubble. Plans to demolish the standing portion of the South Tower now under consideration. We're going to move expeditiously on decision making, but it will take some time for the demolition to occur. They don't want to stop. They want to find these family members for to give closure to the families that are waiting. Okay, so we did just hear from the mayor that she's going to be signing that executive order that will allow for the demolition. As for the storms, we heard there that they are going to be monitoring everything very closely. That's the very latest live in Surfside. Alex Finney, Local 10 News. As are we. Thank you, Alex.